can you say hello there, people of the internet? Say hello! Yeah! And like that! Get it! Now you want it off? There you go! Get it off! Good job! We're gonna play Learn a Song with Ariana, which means don't judge my guitar skills because I haven't played this song before. Which you really just shouldn't judge my guitar skills because I'm really not a guitar player. I like literally just learned to play so I can sing. <laughs> I really wish like that I would spend more time on guitar and really learn it because I don't actually know that much about guitar. I just learn the chords. I'm not the greatest at strum patterns. Like I have a hard time like this song. I just played it like try playing it once through. And it's got kind of a difficult strum pattern, so I'll probably figure it out eventually. If I listen to the song, I'd be able to figure it out. But I'm like a guy, I don't want to like listen to directions, I just want to figure it out. When I get frustrated, I'll go listen to the song. But today, we're going to learn I Was Made For Loving You by Tori Kelly and Ed Sheeran. So that's what we're going to learn today. Are you ready? Are you ready to learn a new song? Maybe. Maybe not. Dangerous time Does this By the way, she's like got her bottom half out of her sleep. <laughs> Today, I tried to give her a blanket to sleep with. I was like, maybe it's time for her to have something to sleep with. No. She would just sat there for an hour playing with the blanket, eating the blanket. And then the last like 10 minutes, she was crying. And so then I took the blanket away. And so I put, tried putting her down in her like regular clothes, but she had like pants on and socks, so she was like fully covered still. Um, it just like wasn't all in like one sleeper, well, and she still wouldn't that, sleep. That might hurt. So then yes. I had to take her out, put her in her sleep sack, and then she finally went to sleep. And she only slept though for like an hour. So giving her that blanket threw her entire nap off. She's only really had like an hour, fifteen minute nap today. Girl's how crazy. Did, how did she sleep last night? Cause she slept four hours before six, and then till 9 30. she's been sleeping 13 hours consistently in the past week I'm so proud of you and she like sleeps 13 in total she just like wakes up to eat but i'm starting to work her off of night feeds right now so right now she's at either two or three feeds or sorry one or two feeds what are you doing can you show them how you're eating the <laughs> you see that face? yeah what are you doing girl <gasps> We are going grocery shopping. We stopped at the bank because we have a whole bunch of change and I wanted to deposit it into my account. But apparently, the bank doesn't have a coin counter. What? You're a bank. How do you not have a coin counter? Ryan's, Ryan's very upset about this. No coin counter at the bank. <laughs> when, when the guy told me they don't have a coin counter, he said, I can give you coin rolls and you can go roll them yourself and then bring them. I was like, I'm not gonna do that, are you kidding me? It's kind of weird that they just don't have them anymore. 
strange. Stupid. It's okay though. It's frustrating. Hey. hey. Mr. Negative over here. I'm just saying, one of the largest banks in the world doesn't have a coin counter in Ryan, any of relax. their banks. It doesn't make sense. It's just dumb Jeez, to me. I think we might need to just turn the camera off while Ryan relaxes for a little bit. It's okay. I'm calm. There's a fingerprint on here. Okay, we're back now that the fingerprints are moved, and I think he's in a better mood. <laughs> I'm always, I've always been in a good mood. It's I don't just know. frustrating. If you guys listened to that last <laughs> clip, he seemed pretty irked. <laughs> well, yeah. It, okay. Oh, no, just, we don't need to. We don't sense. need to talk about it. <laughs> I didn't know not having a coin machine could make someone so upset. It's a bang. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Well, anyways, like uh, Ryan said, we're going grocery shopping with smiles on our faces and always. we're going to Trader Joe's. We haven't been there in a while together. Ryan's like stopped to get like a few things. Um, but we're going as a family to go grocery grocery shopping because we need groceries. This we're is actually going to be our first order. official grocery shopping. Like you guys have seen Ryan go pick up stuff, but like we haven't actually gone shopping since we got home. So... It's been a long time since we've even gone grocery shopping. Speaking of, we have a free um, year subs year subs membership at Costco, and we want to try it out because I hear they have like um, a lot of organic, natural options. So wow. we're gonna try it out for a year, but we have to still sign up for that. Rev is being so cute, <gasps> aren't ya? You? You're gonna kick your feet. This smells like watermelon. Doesn't it? I, I don't know. Watermelon. Maybe I suppose. I'm recording your kick in your feet. Are you holding on, Rev? Is it bumpy? Yes. She's like, yeah, I can't let go. Can't let go. Don't 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 let go. She's laying down now. She She's like, when we were over there, she leaned over and just put her head down on there. You're cushion. so cute. I did not like the Target carts. They're so big that like, you she can't. sits up perfectly fine because it's like slanted. She's like so small that it doesn't really hold her well. Yeah. And like we can't use any, both of her uh, seat cover things are too small for the Target carts. Because they're so big. Well, you gotta get on that Target. Come on, fix your stuff. And look and see if there's any coupons for anything but not having much luck so Reb found a new toy that she's taken home do you want to show him do you want to show him it's a little piano yeah show him how you play it you gotta play it what do you got there you like to play with your feet here them feet up there there you go. So, we are back home as you guys saw. We went to Target and Trader Joe's. I am gonna let you guys know so, like, so you're not like asking. Um, I'm switching Revelin to pre-made baby foods. No, not because I'm lazy. I don't know, that's really the only reason, right? I mean, not necessarily, if you just don't have time, obviously. Because I have plenty of time, I'm at home all day. And if you look at my freezer, oh well, you can't see, but way back there is like 30 to 35, maybe even 40 little one ounce pieces of food that I've made for her. But little miss over there doesn't want to eat them. <laughs> and I thought about maybe it was just that the food wasn't fresh anymore because if you guys saw right in the beginning when we started solids, she took them really well. But even as I made new stuff, like for instance, we started with avocado, I made her avocado fresh to see if maybe that was the problem, if she just didn't like that it was frozen. Um, and I always like brought it back up to room temperature or a little bit warmer, which is how she um, ate it like the first time she had it. And even when I made it from scratch again, she didn't want to eat it. So it's just like she decided all of a sudden, I don't want to eat it. Well, so we kind of like, I, well, I just kind of like stopped giving her solids because she just wouldn't, she wouldn't eat them. And I would constantly be like taking them out of the freezer, thawing them, 
and then it just get wasted because she just keeps putting it back out and she wanted nothing to do with it. We got to Colorado and I didn't want her to not have any solids that whole time and I wasn't going to make anything obviously at Brittany's. So I went and bought some of the Ella's kitchen stuff and she ate it perfectly fine. She was happy and I like kind of had in the back of my mind like maybe we'll just go that route because she just won't eat my food. Obviously I have plenty for her. Um, now I'm talking solids wise like she breastfeeds still perfectly fine. And so tonight I just finally said I'm just gonna go get some pre-made foods and I didn't get Ella's Kitchen because it was more expensive but I found this brand is called Organics Happy Baby and it's USDA organic and they carry it at Target just like Ella's Kitchen as well. And I got a bunch from them. So I got these little things which I've heard great things about on YouTube from other moms, these organic teething wafers. Um, they like dissolve basically in their mouth. And then got these, I got a few like single flavors to try because I wouldn't, wasn't sure if she was gonna like like whole box. And then I got these organic puffs, blueberry carrot, or purple carrot and blueberry, which are just like little puffs like it says. We're gonna try the pre-made organic route for a while. And <laughs> hopefully, my biggest thing is I just wanna make sure that she's eating. Because by nine months, according to my pediatrician, she should be eating three times a day. But I can't even get her to eat a couple spoonfuls of my food. And I just wanna make sure that she is eating food and we don't have issues with that later on because she's not eating like solids. So I'm gonna push my issues aside of really wanting to have made her food for her and just buy her the pre-made stuff, I guess. So I'm probably gonna have to throw out all that stuff that I made her, unfortunately. You just kinda gotta do what you can do. And my friend Jessie reminded me that I have still breastfed her successfully so far for eight months. She's eight months old today, guys. That's a big accomplishment. And so I should just be happy with that and just be thankful that I've been able to at least provide her like real sustenance for at least eight months now. That's, that's a big deal. So, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look, and say I'm so happy. Yeah. She's eating these things that dissolve. And they really do work because she literally like she chewed off a piece and she kind of like made a funny face. And then she just kept kind of chewing and she swallowed. So they really do dissolve well. That's good to know. Because this is, I think this is a different brand from like the actual like ones that I've seen mentioned. I'm not 100% sure, but she seems to like them. These ones are banana and sweet potato flavored. Hold on, girl. Hold on, girl. Yeah, this is what she's eating right now. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. You look so big. She apparently doesn't mind that it smells like spinach. She seems to like it. Made some dinner finally now that it's nine o'clock. Teriyaki chicken, you know the stuff, you know, we always get it from Trader Joe's, the good stuff, with some uh, quinoa. Real good, makes like four meals, like two full meals, like two servings for two meals. Does that make sense? Like four servings, it makes four servings. <laughs> That's the easiest way to say it. Needless to say, we're hungry, we haven't eaten dinner yet. I was actually kind of surprised that we didn't end up getting something while we were <laughs> The video is edited, except this part, and it's already at like 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna end the vlog. You're doing good we were, editing we at were, night. We were really good vloggers today, I feel like. Oh yeah? We did like a lot of like different vlogging and such. Oh yeah? Yesterday's question of the day. Was? Oh, uh, we asked for, Oh. so we don't have a question of the day to answer. No, today's question of the day. Ooh, ooh, I, I thought of one. What is it? Today's question of the day is going to be, what do you like most about your family? Mm. So not necessarily, like, if, hmm, see, because the way I thought of it was, like, my immediate family, not, like, us, oh, okay. but, like, the family we grew up with, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, our parents and siblings. I don't know. You tell I think us it would matter, like, what, part what of stage of life you are. Yeah. So I feel like if you have like older kids, then obviously it would be, be like your yeah. family. Choose what you would like. You can yeah. do all of them. You could do just with your particular family or with you and your actual like you and your spouse in the family. Choose which one you would like. Yep. 
That's it. Is that good? Yep, that's a good question. Anything else? Uh, or is that so. gonna be it? That's it. Ooh, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Comments down below. Let us know your answer. And anything else you might want to tell us. As always, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.